Okay, now a lot of people have expressed interest in putting these 3.5 liter EcoBoost turbos on their 3.7 liter V6s from their Mustang or their F-150 or whatever. Now, of course, they don't bolt directly on. You can't put these stock manifolds on your 3.7 liter Mustang directly. Now, Super 6 has just announced that they're going to make a kit which basically consists of adapter plates and uh, oil lines and coolant lines so that you can take these turbos and these manifolds and put them on your 3.7 or 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. Now they just announced um, pricing for the kit. Now it's not, uh, this is not the official price, this is the pre-production price for the, for the initial cars, the ones that get this kit just to uh, just to test basically and they're going to be getting it for seven hundred dollars which is an absolute steal when you consider that you can get a set of these turbos easily for five hundred bucks for both um, and that'd be for a decent set of these turbos so we're talking about an extremely good value for money should you uh, get one of the pre-production kits even if you get one of the uh, the kits after they're already tested out it's probably still going to be cheap enough that this is by far your cheapest option now you do still need to worry about getting an intercooler getting intercooler piping what have you uh, we're not talking about a kit that's going to cost you you know one thousand fifteen hundred bucks all in but we are talking about a kit that will only cost you a couple grand to get your car turbocharged Now that's an exceptional deal obviously so a lot of people have questions about whether these turbos will fit on their 11 to 14. Super 6 has a 2015. They've tested it on that and they know it fits on their 2015. They don't have an 11 to 14. So this is as close as we're going to get right this second because this 11 to 14 is 3.5 swapped if you haven't been following this build. So this is the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. If you haven't been following this build, it does fit. I haven't had to do much to make it fit, um, and this engine is basically the same size as the 3.7 liter V6. So in theory, if they fit in here, uh, it'll be very similar fit for the 3.7 liter V6 with these turbos. Now the kit does add some adapters in between the head and the, uh, and the manifold, so you're going to be talking about a little bit less space than I already have, because we're talking about a little bit more of a... Uh, a little bit more material in between the two here because you're going to have an adapter in here too. Now, uh, we're going to take a look at in just a second and see just how much space we're giving up, but uh, that will give you a rough idea of, uh, of how, it would how it would fit. We're talking about similar fit with a little bit less clearance, so let's just take a look at it so you know what you're getting into right now. Yeah, as you can see, there is uh, quite a lot of space in here for the turbos on the sides, about an inch at least, if not a little bit more, maybe an inch and a half. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty much the same story on the other side. There's uh, quite a lot of clearance on this side too. No real worries there. Um, the only place where you might run into clearance issues is underneath the car. So, under here, we can see that uh, the steering shaft is pretty close. Um, and by pretty close, I mean, you know, probably half an inch at least, maybe a little bit more. And uh, with the thickness of the uh, adapter between the turbo and the head, the turbo is going to be a little bit lower, and there's going to be even less space there. So it's going to be extremely tight on the 11 to 14 with the adapters. Um, now, I do still think it will fit. Um, you're going to want to talk to Eric about how thick exactly the spacer is. Um, but yeah, it, it is quite tight in there, and, uh, you know, the, uh, that, that's the really only issue you're going to run into as far as fitting these turbos in this car using the 3.7 and adapters. And if you're one of those beta testers, this is probably going to be where you want to look uh, for clearance issues. But I do believe it should still fit, it's just going to be very tight. If it just barely doesn't fit, what you might be able to do is get some washers, this is one of your motor mounts, get some washers and put them right there on your motor mount. Um, if you were to put like say two washers on there, you'd probably get yourself another, uh, I don't know, eighth of an inch almost, and that would probably be enough to get this thing to fit. So, uh, you know, worst case scenario, you might have to raise up your engine a little bit, which is obviously not ideal, but this is an option, of course, if, uh, if you really want to run these turbos, you don't want to get like a custom turbo kit because it is a lot more expensive. 
um, and it just barely doesn't fit because that might just be enough. And you don't need to raise it up much if you do need to raise it up at all. It'll be a, a very small amount. So again, I think it'll fit. I can't guarantee anything. You might need to even raise up the engine a little bit, but for now, um, that just gives you an, a rough idea of how these turbos fit in this engine bay just so that you can see what a 2011 to 2014 V6 Mustang with these turbos might look like uh, in terms of clearance. Okay, so I hope this video has helped. Let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments section down below, and thank you for watching.